Thank you guys so much for being here. I'm so excited. So if you missed it earlier, I was telling the story of this Nancy Drew game that we're going to play today. And the reason I'm so excited is because this game is not on Steam. You have to like download it yourself. And it's not like, um, it doesn't work with like newer computers. So you have to figure out how to install it properly. And thanks to some like friends in Discord, I was able to get it working. And I have not played this game since I was like maybe seven and I've never beaten it. So I have no idea who the bad guy is, but basically you're Nancy Drew on your own in the big city in New York city. You have your own apartment. You have your own landline. You take the subway to work and you work at a TV studio and you have a little like badge that lets you in and you're working with all these TV stars. And, um, uh, the main guy of this TV show is getting death threats, like classic, like cutouts from magazines formed into words, like death threats at the studio. Um, so we're going to go figure out what's going on and I'm really excited. I can't wait to play it because I've never beaten this and I want to beat it. Um, I have to move you guys to the left monitor because this is one of those Nancy Drew games that like reformats my whole computer. <laughs> like every time I open it, it just like all my monitors change. So let's see. Um, where's the shortcut? I put a shortcut here. Hello. Uh oh, nothing happened when I clicked the shortcut. Let me try. Let me try from the files. I'm sorry. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna scream. Where did I install it? <gasps> I installed it on this on accident. Oh my god. I'm so. It worked though. But I installed it on the wrong thing. Okay, there we go. Am I play? Am I legit playing a game off of a USB drive? Should I reinstall? I feel like I should reinstall it. I feel like I should reinstall it to like a proper, uh, I'm going to reinstall it. Hold on. <laughs> Cause I don't know if it, I don't, I, mm, but it is like a really old game. I feel like it would run fine. <laughs> should we try it? Yeah. The cam is so wide. You can see my cats running through the thing. Cause it did run. It ran fine. I think it would be fun to play it off of the USB. I just want to see if it'll work. Um, give me one sec. Mav is, Mav might need some help. So. God, God damn, these spam emails are so funny. Um, hi, this is the social security office. Can you send us your social security number to confirm? No. <laughs> No, no, I cannot. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. <gasps> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, sure. One sec, I'll send it over. I'm so excited to play this game. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just excited to play one that is so elusive, that like is so hard to find. Um, I think the volume is fine. Is the volume okay? Eileen! I got one from American Airlines. <laughs> Hello, this is American Airlines. We need you to send us your social security number stat. I love those ones where it's like, it'll be like, Tom Hiddleston 369 on Instagram being like, hey, this is Tom Hiddleston. I'm in a rough spot. Can you send me $50 or something? <laughs> They're so funny. Oh God. I recently received an email with invitation to the police station. It was sent from a Gmail account. The police at gmail.com. Okay. I think the volume's okay, so we'll get started. Also, I can that's my lo-fi playlist. I can adjust it here if I need to. God, that thing is huge. Uh, I don't need to see this every time. All right. Uh, there's three for this one? Junior, senior, and master? We're definitely going junior. I couldn't, I couldn't beat this on my own. Dear Bess, you'll never guess who I'm visiting in New York. 
Maddie Jensen, your favorite soap star from Light Maddie of Maddie Jensen. Love. Maddie is renting Aunt Eloise's apartment in New York. And after hearing about my last case, Secrets Can Kill, Maddie called to invite me up here. According to Maddie, Rick Arlen is getting <laughs> death threats, but he won't go to the police. So she <laughs> wants me to do some investigation work. Can you imagine anyone <laughs> not liking Rick Arlen? New Daytime York's hottest hunk. Hunk? No, hunk. I have a sneaking suspicion hunk. that there's more to this case than meets the eye. Daytime's Margulay, cutest hunk. Nancy. A blonde white guy. <laughs> ah! A generic looking man. <laughs> he really is just some man. He's just a man. Hey, girly, this is Taylor Swift. Can you spot me $12? <laughs> oh, hey, babe, it's Nicki Minaj. I'm trying to make my light, my light bill, but I couldn't swing it this month. Can you spot me 120 Oh, my God, I can. See? Like, look at this and... Just imagine yourself when you're like seven being like, <laughs> this is my apartment. You're like, I have my own apartment. Come on in, Nancy. The door's open. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> I love this all real, no CGI photo. <laughs> photograph 100% real photograph <laughs> oh my god did they photoshop her face onto this little women ass photo also are you kidding oh my god <laughs> I love her I love her this is we do this now this is like those um those uh AI influencers that aren't actually real do you know what I'm talking about? I'm trying to think of like an example. There's like a couple AI influencers on Instagram who have like millions of followers and aren't real. Hey, <laughs> bestie, it's Vanessa Hodgins. <laughs> I was trying to get my car registration and my car, my car declined. Oh, can we open her mail? Oh no, we can't, bummer. Nancy. While you were out, Ned called. He asked me to tell you to call him the first chance you get. By the way, he sounds cute. I don't know if you heard that, um, but the cats are knocking stuff over, so give me one second. Are you guys having a good knocked over water and it spilled everywhere. So give me like one minute. I'm sorry. on my bedside table because sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night choking. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. I wake up choking sometimes and I need water to drink so I leave it on my bedside table. Um, but they knocked it over when they were playing and Godfeed got me this really amazing book called Goodbye Again. And it's literally just short stories and essays on like life and saying goodbye and stuff. And I've been really excited to read it. And it was on my bedside table. And when they spilled the water, I was like, oh, no, not the book, but it's fine. It only got to like the back cover, not any of the pages. So yay. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. We had a cat. We had a cat uh, problem. Oh wait, did I even, hold on. I don't think I moved the water. Did I? No, I didn't. Give it one second. Okay. 
we're good, we're good. Everything's fine now. <laughs> you scared me. I know I got really nervous, but it, it didn't even like get past the hardcover. So we're good. We're good. Um, I don't want to talk to Ned. I want this game to pass the Bechdel test. I don't want to speak to Ned or about Ned even one time. Uh, where's Maddie? Also, this is such an early 2000s apartment. I love it. I love the way it's decorated. Oh, this window, the like rotating or spiral staircase. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to New York, Nancy. I love her. I'm really glad you could come out here on such short notice. I had this really dark thought when she was sitting there <laughs> where it was like <laughs> the way the shot was framed. She's just like, ah, Nancy. I was expecting to be like, Maddie, why is there a red dot on your forehead? <laughs> That's so fucked. I'm sorry. Uh, Maddie will be fine. Maddie will survive. They don't kill anyone in Nancy Drew games. The window? The window. With like the hue. <laughs> Did you think that too, Brooke? <laughs> oh, no. What a way to start a Nancy Drew game. Uh... <clears throat> I'm happy to help. I'm happy to help in any way I can. Aunt Eloise told me that someone her voice is so is mature. Well, for the past month, my co-star Rick Arlen has been getting these awful death threats. Oh, she's a co-star. First, we all shrugged it off. You get the occasional odd letter in this business, but then they started to get weird. I mean, death threats sound weird already. I don't know if. They could get much worse than that. Have you ever received an odd letter? Oh, I've gotten some odd ones here and there, but nothing like what Rick has been getting. In fact, they're I like totally her teeth. bizarre. Is that weird? Not only did he get letters, but somebody sent him a box of poison chocolates, a broken watch, and then there's that whole thing with the teleprompter. <laughs> what if the teleprompter thing is just that thing from um, Anchorman? where they change the words on the teleprompter and he goes, fuck you, San Diego, or something like that. <laughs> oh, so what happened? what happened with the teleprompter? Well, I was reading the teleprompter during a scene with Rick. All of a sudden, my lines read, you're going to die a horrible death, Rick. And they made her say the time, it? That's hilarious. It was some sick joke, but nobody admitted to doing it. She is enunciating quite a lot, isn't she? She kind of looks like a South Park character. Every time she enunciates like a vowel, it's just like, ee, <laughs> ooh, <laughs> ah. Did Rick go to the police? No, and that's the problem. No one is taking any of this seriously, especially Rick. He thinks nothing will ever hurt him. Tell me about these letters. Tell me about the letters. Well, the first ones had the letters cut out of magazines, you know, like on a ransom note. They were all signed by someone named B.T. Kaiser. Somehow the news leaked out and the press totally jumped on them. Then they started Old Big Titty Kaiser. I haven't heard that. <laughs> I haven't heard that name in a long time. Someone sent him poison chocolates? Rick's a major Poison chocolates? <laughs> His fans and friends are always sending Sorry. him boxes of candy. But these chocolates were so It nasty, sounds like a Rick burp came up as she would talk as she was talking. <laughs> I've never seen Rick say no to chocolate before. Nancy, I'm running late. I need to get to the studio. Hey, why don't you come over and visit? I'll leave a visitor's pass for you at the security desk. Okay. Oh, before I forget, here's a copy of the house keys. I'm always losing my keys, so I've got plenty of copies. I'll write the studio's address on your map. Just catch a taxi cab outside and show them the map. They'll know how to get there. Okay. It's time to snoop. Now that she's gone, we can rummage. I need something to make this work. Ah. Uh. Annual Soap Star Awards. Best Actress, Maddie Jensen. Line of Iron Lung. Where does this go? Oh, I can't see. Oh my God, is that a dining room? What kind of apartment is this? Look at that dining room. That dining room is like a bigger square footage than like the apartment I live in. Oh my God. <laughs> she looks scared for her life. <laughs> yeah, she looks like she's in danger. 
Uh, I love a woman that has a photo of herself in her house. I love it. I love the confidence. Oh my god. <laughs> Rick, put those grippers away. <laughs> you know what's weird? She has a lot of photos with Rick for them to just be co-stars. Like, do you guys have this many photos with one of your coworkers? Literally just one? Oh my god. <laughs> Where did his neck go? <laughs> There's so many questions. How to get what you want fast inside the mind of a celebrity star? <laughs> that adjusted so quickly. <laughs> That's like... That's like Plane Crash Kills 12. But tonight at 11, learn how to make the perfect peach cobbler. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, what's in here? Oh my God. <laughs> I need to see more of New York's hottest hunk. The last days for Rory Danner. Rumors are rampant that Rick Arlen, lulz Rory Tanner, lulz, is breaking his contract with worldwide broadcasting and is setting his sights on a career in film. I can't, I love this. What the fuck is this? I'm scared. Welcome to every Nancy Drew game ever. Just being terrified. While his agency has no comment, our sources tell Chatter that Rory's evil twin Yuri may return next season to kill Rory off. This news has sent shockwaves through WWB's management, especially after Rick and his co-star, Maddie Jensen, Serena Livingstone, both picked up Eddie's for best couple in a daytime soap last year. But if, his evil, if he's playing his evil twin and he kills Rory off, then doesn't he still have to play the evil twin? So he's still on the show? I don't know. I don't know anything about anything. I'm working with an excellent cast and crew on Light of Our Love, Arlen told Chatter after winning his award. It's a pleasure to work with Maddie and Bill and Janie. They're a great team. The only three people making this TV show. I love this. <laughs> uh, Rory always comes back. Just ask Amy. What's the reference? I'm not getting. Is it, is it, um, the mom and the daughter show? I forgot what it's called. The one where they talk really fast. Oh, it's Doctor Who? I was thinking of a completely different show. Um, obviously not great enough to keep Rick on board. Take it from an old hat in the industry. Wait, take it from an old hat in the industry, Rick. Hollywood is a totally different playing field from New York. Oh, so this person is literally saying, don't do it. Ugh, sorry, I thought there was more. I wanna read her mail. I need to know how much she pays. Excuse me. Hello? What is this? Is she the stalker? I'm starting to feel like she's the stalker. She never said they were dating, right? Gilmore Girls is what I was thinking of, yes. Manhattan Television Guide. Will Celeste ever forgive Alex? A long road to fame. Actress Maddie Jensen says her recent success in a daytime drama is results of hard work and a little help from, and a little help from home. <laughs> Wait, I wanna read it. I can't read it? Oh, I'm gonna try my best. These words are tiny. Most people have this impression that it's easy to become a famous actor. All you need is a nice smile and a bus ticket bound for New York or LA, says Jensen in the December issue of Modern Actors. Jensen, who stars as Serena Livingstone on Worldwide's Light of Our Love, also tells the magazine about the pressure of acting at an early age. My mother was the typical stage mom, pushing me harder and harder to get the lead. I used to think acting was just a big competition, but now I realize it truly is a vocation, something you have to dedicate your life to. How has this new outlook changed her relationship with her mother? We're best friends, the actress admits. 
without my mom? I never had the dying opportunities done in this business. Sounds like her mom said that. <gasps> Can I snoop her desk? <gasps> what does it say? The 23rd annual daytime soap opera gala, December 16th. Oh, we just missed it. <laughs> December 16th, 1999. We just missed it. Bummer. Maybe next year. Maddie, I'm writing this letter because you never call me. <laughs> this is the mom. I, 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 you don't even need to, you don't even need to, I don't need to hear anything else. This is the mom. Yeah, this is the <laughs> Oh, how to figure out the author of a letter in eight words. I'm writing this letter because you never call me. You can't be that busy not to phone your poor mother, can you? <laughs> oh, I can't do this. I saw your photo on Soap Opera Journal at the store. You'd think that my own daughter would at least send me a copy. I was devastated to see that your picture is so much smaller than Rick's. What makes him more important than you? Darling, you must remember that you are the real star of that show. And it's about time we show the world that you are number one. I will not allow you to ever play second fiddle to that man. Without your talent, he'd be nothing. Remember that. And remember the person who paid for all your acting lessons for all those years. Mother. Not the narcissist's mother. God, what a nightmare. <laughs> but what about me? <laughs> oh my God. What was November 13th? Oh. Did something just disappear? Something just disappeared from here, but I didn't see it. What was it? What? Why is there an eyeball watching me in the calendar? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? That's so creepy. Uh, she, okay, listen. I understand one photo of just you and your coworker, but having photos of just your coworker all over the apartment I'm starting to think it's her sending these letters. It's locked. I have bad vibes. It's locked. I don't know, I'm not feeling good about this. <laughs> this is, this is, this is team center stage trying to Photoshop in uh, photos of Astilia onto the trip with us because she couldn't come with us. <laughs> The whole team of center stage, including Astilia, who was totally there. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, I can't with the narcissist mother twist. Ooh, a script? We got spoilers. I was hoping to find you here. I've been making myself right at home, love. I see you found my personal diary. Well, yeah, you left it out on the table for all the world to see. What was I supposed to do? <laughs> respect your privacy? Well, you could have shown a little respect for my privacy. <laughs> exactly. You know me better than that. Your business is my business, babe. Uh, 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 ew. I mean, I know they're characters, but ew. Okay, I think I've seen everything. I think I've clicked on everything I can click on. Um, we are not calling Ned because who asked? Oh, turn night to day or day to night. The choice is yours for darkness or light. Choose the path you decide to take for only you can decide your fate. <laughs> That's a really long riddle to just say go to sleep. <laughs> you could have just made this one go sleep. Yes or no? <laughs> Anyways, let's leave. Worldwide broadcast. Taxi! Where can I take you today, miss? 1999 Broadway, please. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. I understand 
when they can't do an accent from another country. <laughs> but this is America. They can't even do an American accent. We're gonna take it a day, Miss. <laughs> oh? It's locked. It didn't work. I tried boobies. It didn't work. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. This whole thing is worldwide broadcasting. Wow. Oh, hell yeah. Elevator music. Star Sentinel. <gasps> There's missing letters. If you don't see this, there might be something missing. Hmm. The saddle gum gum free. I don't know what that says. <clears throat> oh my god. I can't with like the half half 3D image, half not. Images. Oh my god, hello. Can I help you? Yes. Maddie Jensen left a visitor's pass for me. It should be listed under Nancy Drew. Here you are. You'll need to sign for it. You'll need to come to this desk every time you enter so I can log you in. Okay. Have a nice day. I'm a nice thing. Who? WWB founder Mildred W. Stratham. <laughs> I just love like the like paintbrush strokes like they're trying to make her look like she's from like the 1800s. I love her already. Where should I go? East Wing? West Wing? This place is huge. I don't care who he is. No one breaks a contract with Bill Pappas. I'll kill him before he runs out on me. Was that a threat? I heard a threat. Hello? Okay, well I can't go in there, so. Maddie Jensen. It's open. <gasps> hey, Nancy. Glad you could make it. We'll be shooting soon, so I only have a couple of minutes to chat. Can you tell me more about Rick? Hmm, where should I start? Big dub from Mildred. <laughs> well, I've known Rick since I started acting. Well, after I got my big break with the touring production of Romeo and Juliet. We both played the leads. I guess it gave us good practice for the parts of Rory and Serena. They are dating? So how long have you been a couple? You mean off screen or on screen? You see, Rick and I oh. dated when we were with the touring company for Romeo and Juliet. Sorry, I'm checking in on Mav. Okay, she's fine. Sorry. Um, Rick and I dated when we were with the touring company for Romeo and Juliet. So are they not, are they not dating anymore? Or I'm confused. Do you think an old flame of yours could be motivated by jealousy to do this to Rick? Actually, Rick and I are no longer dating. But come to think of it, I do know someone who could be jealous enough of Rick to do something like this. Yuri Danner, Rick's twin brother. I'm sorry, Nancy. It's been a running joke oh, around here. So he see, does. Rick's character oh. has an evil twin, Yuri, and everyone's been saying that I'm it's so him gullible. who's causing all this trouble. But seriously, I have no idea who could be behind this. Oh, look at the time. I've got to get to makeup. Hey, why don't you come down to the set in a few minutes? I'll be shooting a scene with Rick. In the meantime, make yourself at home. I can't get over the fact that, like, she invites me to places and then leaves as soon as I get there. She's like, yeah, come to my apartment. We'll talk. And then two minutes in, she's like, I'm sorry. Gotta go. <laughs> Look at the time. Flees. It literally is fleeing. She's not leaving. She's fleeing. <laughs> <clears throat> Camera picks up Yuri Danner as he walks through the living room doors and enters the front hallway. He greets Serena Livingstone. Well, good evening. I never expected you to darken my door. What does that mean? I want to talk to you about Rory. I know. You know what? You know that yellow-bellied poor excuse of a man doesn't deserve your love, Serena? Is that what you know? I... I don't know. 
Of course you don't, but don't worry your pretty little head about Rory. He'll get what he deserves, and I can tell you, my love, it isn't Serena Livingstone. What do you mean? I love Rory, and I despise you. You used to seek revenge on your bro you used me to seek revenge on your brother, your own flesh and blood, and now you want to drag me down to your level. But I don't want to do that. Or I won't do that. I have more strength than you think. Ah, Serena, always playing the femme fatale. Do you really think? Don't patronize me, Yuri. I'm no longer in your power, and I'm free of your evil spell. Woo! Let's go, Serena! <clears throat> Who are Roman and Lubinka? Huh? I don't know who these people are yet. <laughs> All they care about is Yuri. Yuri, our bad boy. Oops. Oh, I don't know where I went. I'm sorry. Ireland's possible departure leads to ratings question. Hmm. Ma chérie. Oh, here we go. It's time to practice my French. Uh, ma, ma chérie. I can't read this. Voici un sim symbole de mon, mon amour <laughs> pour vous. Vous êtes, êtes un ange envoyé par le what the fuck ciel pour mon courage mon courageur pour me <laughs> donner le courage je vous aime et je vous embrasse très fort fortement fortement fuck that's hard all I understand is my love. Um, this is a symbol of my love for you. Um, envoyé, I don't know that one. Uh, I'm trying to put it together, but I don't know this one. For my something courage. I don't know the rest of it. I don't understand the rest of it. Oh, it's embrace. <laughs> yeah, it's not embarrassed. Maybe that's embrace. I'm really curious. I want to learn. I was um, <clears throat> I was thinking of playing uh, Mass Effect in French, so I can start picking up some of like the phrases because I was like, I feel like if I want to learn a language, I should consume like my favorite media in that language because then I'm more like, I'm more like passionate about learning it. So I kind of want to try it. So let's see, French, embrasse. Oh my God, I'm on the French keyboard, fuck. I forgot that every time I do Duolingo, it switches to French keyboard. Embrasse is kiss. Très fort, fortement. Uh. Strongly? Kiss strongly? Fortement. Fortement. I'm gonna kiss you really strongly? Damn. Je vous... Uh, that's like... I am or something? Je vous... Um... And I'm gonna kiss. I love you, and I'm gonna kiss you real strong. Oh, I'm gonna kiss you a lot. I love you, and I'm gonna kiss you a lot. Damn. What's that middle one? Vu et in ange. Ange en voyé par le. I don't know how to say ciel. Pour mon cour 
Courageux. Oh, you're an angel sent by heaven to encourage me. To give me courage. Oh my god! I want to see how it's pronounced. It is ciel. Vous êtes, vous êtes un ange envoyé par le ciel, ciel pour m'encourager. Vous êtes un ange envoyé par le ciel pour m'encourager. Pour m'encourager. Not. I need to stop saying the R. Encourager. That's so romantic. I learned so much. Encourage this. <laughs> Me and Becca, the two single people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, you've already been to heaven. Let me send you to hell with this. <laughs> okay, well, I think Ciel is heaven. So that's a new one. What's all this? This is messy. Girl, get a maid. You're rich. <gasps> Ooh, there's lipstick. Um... What's this? We're snooping. She has so many, oh, it's smudged. She has so many photos of this man and he is the most basic looking man I've ever seen in my life. I can't. I bet you anything we're gonna meet him and he's gonna be like a massive narcissist and this is all just gonna be a symbol for how she, because of her narcissistic mother, connects love and relationship with narcissists. And it's just going to be like a psychology lesson. Oh! Hmm. Broken watch. I'm like trying to find stuff in here. I saw a broken watch. Hmm. Castor oil? Glass? Who is lying? Rick Arlen. More than it seems. Who done it? This is weird. What if she mailed it to herself? I love her. I really hope it's her. I think that'd be a fun twist. Oh my god. This whole cabinet is like a Macy's perfume section. What is this? A mask of sweet sincerity, a cloak of loving kindness, meant to sway the heart to trust and fill the eyes with blindness. Okay. Anyways. Maddie, we love you. Dear Maddie, I'm writing to tell you what a big fan I am of the show. Serena Livingstone is my favorite character. I never miss a single show. Boo. <laughs> Boring. Where are the death threats? That's what I'm here for. Okay, let's leave. I'm bored. <laughs> Boo. Get off the stage. Send something more interesting. <laughs> huh. Uh. Oh. Where do I keep... Is this... Where do I keep going? I'm confused. Uh, it looks like the same place. Oh, Rick Arlen? He's not here. He's dead. Didn't mean to do that. Do I have to sign in again? Can I help you? Hello. Here's my. I left on accident. Hello, Can I come Ms. back Drew. in? 
<laughs> Thank you. You may proceed. Imagine the jump scares in this place. I can't wait. Is this a set? I need something to make this work. Is that not the pass? Vacuum sealed doors cannot be accessed when on air display is lit. When card reader shows green arrows, slide card through in the direction of the arrows. Keep at least three feet away from doors when opening or closing. Why are they vacuum sealed? I need something to make this work. How does this not work? Let me in. I want to see some spoilers. No, okay. Oh. It's open! She saw me coming. She knew. Hello there. Oh, are you a visitor? According to the policy's memo dated July 14th, 1954, no one is permitted in the prop room. Isn't she literally Except for those people permitted in the prop room? Isn't she you literally the founder? The director Lillian Weiss, if you want to become permitted. She likes to do all of the hiring around here. Good day, my dear. <laughs> Good day, my dear. <laughs> Goodbye. She's literally the woman that founded this whole thing. Where's her photo? That's a, uh, no! God damn it! Can I help you? Hello, here's my pass. Hello, Ms. Drew. Thank you. You may proceed. That's literally her. She's the founder of this whole thing. <laughs> yeah. What is that emote? Nancy didn't say anything. She's a beep boop boop beep boop 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 beep beep boop boop. I've never seen that emo before. So, wasn't... Aren't I supposed to go... Like, talk to them? She's gone. That was the exit. Why doesn't the card work here? I need something to make this work. Is that not the pass? I need something to make this work. I need something to make this work. She literally invited me to come in here. Does she have another pass here? Oh, I missed my chance. Okay. Uh. Huh? I would have assumed I could use the pass. No. They're literally all on set. They're all gone. Hmm. The music does go kind of hard. It is kind of Hey, fun. taxi. Where do you Maybe I should call Ned. Because sometimes Avenue, please. you do have on to call way. your friends to move forward. So maybe I do have to call him. I guess we're calling Ned. I have the pass. Moiku, thank you! Also, I saw there was another sub, but I can't see who it was because I can't alt tab or else I'll Nancy. crash the game. Thank you so much! First, you leave me to visit your aunt in Florida, and now you're in New York. By the time you get back to River Heights, I'll be an old man. I think this is a different Ned. Rare, elusive, different Ned actor. Wow. I'm not telling him I love him. He's got to say it first. He didn't say it first, so I'm not saying I'll it. hurry back to you. But first, I've got another case to solve. So, Hannah told me about the investigation you're working on. Sounds neat, but kind of dangerous. Anything I can help you out with? Hmm. I'd like to get into the studio at night. I'd like to get into the studio at night, but it's locked. Any ideas? I bet there's another way in. Maybe there's a side entrance. Well, yeah, I so, knew that already, what else Ned. what can I help you out with? <sighs> I found a side entrance to the studio, but there's a keypad lock on it. So Nancy, it's just... I know you can get that combination, but no one will give it to you without okay, a good Okay, so he's reason. not helping. So, what else can I help you out with? Nothing. I think that's it for now. Another way in. You. Brilliant I idea, Ned. Too. That's genius. Goodbye. <laughs> wow, you really solved the case, Ned. Thanks. I feel like that pass is supposed to work. 
I don't know. I feel like it is. Hi, you've reached Bess Marvin. I can't come to the phone right now, but please leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Okay. We'll try George and then if not, we'll leave. I feel like I got soft locked out of the game already. Or I'm just not that smart. I think that second one's more likely. Fane residence. Hi, George. It's Nancy. Nancy. George! How are you? Are you still in Florida? Did you ever solve that case you were working on? Yeah, uh, the one where a teenager died? Maybe show some respect? That case is solved. You're not going to believe this, but I'm now in New York on another case. Wow. From the palm trees of Florida to the streets of New York City, Nancy Drew is on the case. What is it this time? Missing jewels? International spy ring? Maybe a ghost or two? George is the original, like, fan of true crime. She's like, tell me! I'm bored! Who died? I need to know. I wish it were only a ghost or two, but it's a lot more serious. Get this, Rick Arlen from Light of Our Love is getting death threats. You're kidding! Don't tell Bess that. She'll want to fly out there and save him. She absolutely adores Rick Arlen. So, have you met any of those other daytime superstars? Where is Bess? Where is Bess anyway? I'll need her soap opera expertise for this case. If there's one thing Bess knows, it's her soaps. But you're out of luck. She's gone out of town for a couple of days. Is there anything I can help you out with? Can I just make Nancy go to sleep for a few days and then she'll be there? Oh, how can I get into the sound stage? I wonder how I can get into the sound stage. Hmm. I would think your studio pass could get you in. That is, when they're not filming. Did I break it? Talk to you later. Good luck and be careful. Maybe, maybe because I've left and I'll come back, maybe it'll Taxi. reset. Where can I take you today, miss? 1999 Broadway, please. <laughs> Me trying to do any can accent. Can I help you? Where can I take you today, miss? Uh... Hello, here's my pass. <laughs> Hello, Ms. Drew. Thank you. You may proceed. This accent. Yeah, so it said you can't do it when the on-air light is on, but it's I not on. I to make this work. Places, everyone. Are we locked okay. in? Yes, Miss Weiss, we're clear to shoot. Have we blocked this already? Yes, I think. Rick Arlen, why is, why is there a red dot the on your forehead? Ready? Check Sorry. audio. Uh, check. Roll tape. Stand by camera one. Stand by music. Take camera one. Rory, I have to talk to you. I don't want to see you, Serena. No, Rory, Convincing. don't go. <gasps> I love you. I don't want to see you, Serena. <gasps> <laughs> Sheesh! What was that? I could have been killed. Get my agent on the phone now. <laughs> Get my agent on the phone now. Minute, everybody. Looks like that's a wrap for today. <laughs> oh, looks like that's a wrap for today. Yeah, someone else died. <laughs> Oh my god! Sheesh! I was so looking forward to their compelling performance of this, like, breakup or whatever. I don't want to see you, Serena. <laughs> I just w I need to know what's going on. I was on the edge of my seat. <laughs> god, I love these games so much. They're so funny. Oh, I, I can move this? The clock. I should set the clock. I don't know it. I should to, set the clock. I don't know how I to do should that. set the clock. How do I set the clock? Okay, whatever. I'm leaving. God. <laughs> ah! <laughs> this looks like a trap door. What's up with this set? This is freaky. This is weird. Your time is running out, Rick Arlen. You'd better kiss your career and your life goodbye because the end is near. <laughs> uh. Okay. Okay. I don't really see anything that interesting. <gasps> Craft services. I love a good bangle. Oh my god. I can't read. Uh. 
Uh, I'm stuck. I got stuck. There's the clock. Am I supposed to do something with the clock? Can I go this way? No. Oh. <gasps> Wish up dish. It's locked. Oh. Why does she walk backwards everywhere? <laughs> I need to know what's going on with Nancy. That makes her be like, I'm going to walk down these spiral staircase backwards. <laughs> she just loves danger a little too much, I think. Excuse me. Oh, is this? Is there anywhere I can look at the lighting? I want to check out the lighting. No. Where do I walk? I'm stuck. I got stuck. Anytime you hear Avery ask a question, assume she's talking to her. Yeah, sorry. I forgot. I feel like we have like a a hint safe word or something. But I don't remember what it is. Sorry, I'm just kind of talking to myself. Can I like... I should set the clock. Oh, I think I need like another hand. Never mind. Um, I don't know if I can do anything right now. I really want to see what's up with the light because I don't see any lighting fixtures at all. So it kind of feels like a lie. Maybe I'll go leave and go talk to everyone. Confiscated my pass. I guess this takes me off the case permanently. Oh, I should have been more careful. Oh. Well, better luck next time. I just hope there'll be a next time for Rick. <laughs> Imagine if they were like, as a consequence of your actions, Rick Arlen was killed at the soap opera gala. This wouldn't have happened if you didn't pull the fire alarm. That'd be so messed up. Rick Arlen was assassinated. I don't know what this is. I'm not gonna touch anything else. I've learned my lesson. Oh, there's stuff over here too. <gasps> Mine, yoink. I don't see anything else, but that's fine. I got my screwdriver. My screwdriver, let's leave. I'm out of here. Rick is dead. What kind of studio are you running here? My client could have been killed. I told you I get to the bottom of this. I've already closed the set to visitors. Well, I'm glad I got my screwdriver. 